After the last time of ferreting, not really. Yeah, it is what it is. Not expecting a great night, but um, yeah. Later on in the video, I'll explain why um, I'm going ferreting. Um, yeah, it'll all become clear. And the hardest thing about um, making uh, videos with an action cam um, at night is trying to edit it into some form of film uh, video that is interesting, entertaining, I don't know, but we'll see how we get on. I'll get suited and booted now, get all my gloves and yeah, everything that I need, hand sanitizer, the whole lot, and um, yeah, I'll check back in later with you. See you soon. Let's hope it's a good one. Bye. Right then, gang. Let's just go and have a little look here. Okay, so, hang on, what's in here? Okay, got this in the boot. Oh. Get my microphone. Sorry if it's playing up because of the wind and the position it is. Right, bit of house cable. Bit of cable what's in there. Let's have a quick look. Right, we've got a bit of cable. I'm sure I saw something else in here. Yeah, copper. Okay. Right, Vandal Vlogs, this is for you. Um, there's a company here. I can't shine the light, but hopefully you can see them. Those are the dumpsters that we get around our area, and they're just for companies only. So we don't get them on uh, private estates like, you know, you do when you're out and about so you can understand now and i'll show you later oh, i got to get used to this microphone i hope it's all right with you um you can understand you know basically uh i'll show you the bags later that we collect our waste in one of those. I've bought one already.
he fell in the skip. <laughs> so I got my car keys and everything. I'm turning it on. Car works better when you put the ignition on. <laughs> well, that didn't quite go to plan, did it? <laughs> right, lights on. Oh, dear goodness me. So quiet. I'm trying to get the things out. And then a bloody fall in the skip. Oh. Good job I did a runner, the lights came straight on. Oh dear. Oh. Right, if I pull over here, let's go and have a look and see if there's something there. And I, let's hope I don't fall in. Like last night. Uh, last skip I went to, it's not fair, they've ripped out. Um, you got to show some respect when they know what they're after. Uh, no. um, they'd ripped out the copper and they'd extruded aluminium and they had it all um, on a workbench. So there's no way I'm touching that. That's just bang out of order as far as I'm concerned. Perhaps they should have put it a little bit more out of sight because um, usually the scrappies would just come along and just take it. But uh, no, sorry, that's not my way of working. If okay, let's go and have a look at this skip and uh, see what's in there. Take a look. What's that? Thank <laughs> you. 
well this audio must have played havoc tonight I'm sorry um, there's only one way to find out and that's on the replay okay and it's the first night that I've okay I've used my action camera but it's the first night I've actually had it on my head as a head cam and I'm just hoping that the footage will be okay but I've got to get back now seen a couple of things and because uh, I'm full at the moment go get those and then uh, oh look at the bags they're everywhere well that was a bit of a surprise on not there goodness me let's put this light on that was a bit of a surprise didn't expect that but that's the beauty of going out just on the off chance I just had to pick up uh, something that I wanted in the middle of the night from the 24-hour garage there's only one in our area so I made my way down there made my way back and yeah we've had a, a couple of surprises and what I'm gonna do oh my god Gosh, it's four o'clock, quarter past four in the morning now. Um, got a couple more things. I'm going to load this, get a couple more things, and then uh, we'll have a little gander of uh, what we picked up. Sorry that I'm looking, it's not for skips or anything, it's just that the wind has blown so many boxes and oh bags and everything pillows cushions you name it it's been in the middle of the road and I've had to get out quite a few times and just uh, put them hopefully safely or more safe -er, yeah that's correct than uh, what they were and just hope that the wind doesn't take them again but yeah you can only do what you can do and basically yeah I've been jumping in and out of the car uh, but hopefully it's made it for safer for some drivers yeah tired speech is going um, so I'll get everything out of the car now and then next time I'll see you we'll have a little tally up yeah I've got to go out again you never know when the um, Scrap Goddess is going to shine again. I know I said last time I wasn't going to go ferreting before Christmas and I had enough to keep me going, but it's like Ian Matthew says, if the Scrap Goddess, you know, shows you a bit of love and kindness, well, if you don't accept that uh, gift that uh, Scrap Goddess offers, who knows when you'll get some more. So, uh yeah right I'll uh, get everything together and load and I'll check back in with you with what we got I'll see you in a bit bye I'm back I gotta try and get used to this um, microphone it's a bit difficult uh, remembering that you've got it on when you're pulling things out and yeah, jumping in skips and everything. So uh, I obviously won't know what the audio is like until um, yeah I edit it, uh, the video. Um, and of course, jumping in skips and the one, <laughs> the one I almost fell into. Ah, oh, disaster. Yeah. So um, how why I went out ferreting? Um, it wasn't intentional really tonight it, it was a bit tongue-in-cheek because um, I I went how can I explain right I, I went to a 24-hour garage um, because nothing else is open in the area and I'd forgotten some things so I thought right I'll pop down tonight but earlier um, today excuse me um, Got an awful dry throat after being out. Um, earlier today, Mark Stone gave me a phone call. So we were having a bit of chat, bit of a chat, and I said, 
let's have a live stream. He said, what are you on about? I said, let's have a live stream now. Come on, get on, get the live stream up and running. He said, when? I said, oh, I don't know, half past 11, let's go for it. I said, uh, give me a few minutes to get ready and I'll be with you. So um, I said, because of lockdown in England, um, I said, you never know who's out there. It might just be me and you catching up because I haven't been a available for um, a good couple of weeks for Mark's live streams on a Wednesday. And I always support Mark. I've watched every single one of his videos. I think he's great. He's a very good friend. And um, yeah, he started the live stream. I got on there. AJP was on there. Get that mobility scooter up and running. When I vid uh, visit my brother and my nephews, yeah, I want to see that with a engine on and we're going to go out and about, uh, yeah, on the mobility scooter, revved up with the trailer. And I might even bring my nephews. It's the youngest one that, uh, yeah, I won't say, uh, he's like me, he's me reincarnated. So you're thinking, oh my God, oh my God. So AJP was on there and then all of a sudden Andrew Thorne was on there. Hello, Andrew. Um, ah, Robert. I can't remember your name. Robert's been scrapping for, or he scrapped for 50 years. Uh, he popped up. Cycle Scrapping popped up. Vandal Vlogs is on there. And um, all of a sudden, before we knew it, it was one o'clock. Oh, and, um, ah, I just subscribed to him. I can't remember your name. He'll come back to me. And I was chatting to him as well. And it was a good live stream. It was just spur of the moment and everything. I said, oh, I might go ferreting tonight. So Vandal, Vandal is trying to claim the spot for being a cycle scrapper. No, Vandal, it's not happening. There's only one cycle scrapper, and that is cycle scrapping in Ireland, okay? And then Mark Stone Limited goes out on his bike, and along comes the new boy, Vandal Vlogs. And tries to claim first place that you're on your bike and no, it's not happening. You're at least in third place, mate. All right. So anyway, Vandal Vlog said um, about getting out on the bike. Well, oh my gosh, the wind tonight is horrific. Um, I do have a weather station. When it gets over two point five miles per hour, um, you know it's windy out. At the moment, we're having gusts of six point five. So if we converted that to uh, what you see on the TV and the weather, that's between 40 and 60 miles per hour. There's no way I'd get anywhere with a bike. I'd, I would have been blown off tonight. And we've got a northerly uh, wind, which made it um, cold. I warmed up as I got going, but um, no, nah, I couldn't go out on the bike. It, it was just being realistic and practical, so I took the car. And as it turns out, it was uh, a good idea. So that's the reason behind me going out tonight. Because, uh, yeah, we just, me and Mark Stone Limited just had a spur of the moment live stream earlier. Because uh, I'm filming this Wednesday night going into Thursday. And we had a live stream. And then he had, I believe he had a live stream at six o'clock. But I couldn't make that. So uh, anyway... But, um, yeah, obviously, uh, um, this is the end clip of what I collected. So I'll show you now that I've explained why I went out. And we've got a little bit of house wire. I've got to strip all that. Are you proud of me cycle scrapping or is it just like, mm, not bad. It wasn't all tonight, don't get me wrong. That's just been building up for, I don't know, a month, something like that. Um, that's the house wire from my last ferreting. And then, if I get you here, this was a nice little find. It's a 50 metre extension cable um, for the bright wire that I'll strip down. Um, I have got some more house wire here which I haven't had a good look at, but I think it's going to be going in there. Um, and I've got one of these floor steamers. I have taken one apart before, 
but they're a bit of a nuisance but it has got the cable on and at the end of the day I can't remember what was in there and you all know how curious I am it, it doesn't matter what it is I've got to see what's in there and we picked up some copper number one and there's a couple of bits of copper under there just got to be tidied up with a bit of salt and vinegar a bit of um, rubbing down and they'll be um, classed as number one uh, pipe bin Right, had a bit of a disaster um, get my stuff into the garden the wind is so strong I tried to um, hold the gate with bricks and everything and just had a massive gust and it just went woof and it just I think there's one screw left in the bottom hinge we'll go and have a look now I got the outside lights on um, I've put the lock on it but I am going to have to have a bit of a look and I'm looking outside I've got the lights on and something yeah very interesting right okay let's go outside right hope you can see me it's going to be a bit strange because I've got the search lights on look completely ripped off so I'll sort that out it's just about holding there the bottom one has been ripped out a bit I went for well I built yeah had to build it for this because I live in quite a windy area if I had panels they'd be down all the time so I've put the lock on and everything and hopefully that will hold until it's light and then I'll just have to do some jiggery pokery and get maybe put a hinge on there I'll, I'll see how I get on but anyway at least it's uh, safe for the moment so <coughs> I'll show you what I picked up and I think this is the last night I'm going ferreting before Christmas I've got enough now so first things first um, boiler combi boiler ah oh, when I saw it I well we all love boilers the all of copper the brass I love taking these apart uh, a washing machine I've got another washing machine there and the black one no that's hang on combi boiler washing machine that's a tumble a condenser tumble dryer and that's a washing machine over there and I've still got yeah can you see that rubbish down there I've got to clean up radiators and I've got another electric uh, home appliance to take apart bikes yeah all that is to be ripped apart and basically then oh um, for Oki scrap I promised to take um, the compressor apart on the fridge or the freezer um, bags of cans that I've got to sort out that's all my um, what you call it shred that I've got to sort out all the way back there damn ha um, heavy chimney it's got to be between 50 and 75 kilograms in there um, so that's all the rubbish I've got to get rid of that before Christmas and all of this is just plastic everything there um, yeah plastic I hope you can see all this in the dark that's all being sorted that's ready to go more bags of cans um, so I think I've got about a thousand cans to be getting on with so uh, yeah so let's get back in the garage it's too windy and it's a bit too cold so come on let's go I'll take you back to the garage oh blimey tonight has blown away the cobwebs it's so uh, windy out there so all in all from just picking up a um, couple of bits of copper and oh I left that bag out in the yeah I'll sort it out tomorrow there was more copper in there um, it turned out quite yeah an eventful evening more eventful than I anticipated 
Um, but that is the last night ferreting before Christmas. I got enough now. I got, I've got way too much. Um, I got so much cable to strip, and yeah, I've never. Oh, I'm pleased. Not only because the boiler, I have had quite a few boilers before. I've never taken a washing machine apart, so I've got two of those. Um, so that'll be interesting. Um, so I'm looking forward to that, and I've never taken apart. Uh, what was it? It was a uh, tumble dryer. Tumble dryer. A condenser tumble dryer. And I've never taken one of those apart. And I also have on the way a tumble dryer that has got the pipe on it. So I might wait until I've got both tumble dryers so that when I take them apart we can do, or I can do a video showing the difference between the tumble dryer that blows the air out of the pipe and the condenser tumble dryer, which would um, be quite interesting. But I'm looking forward to taking those apart. You might think, oh, I've done loads of washing machines and appliances, you know, all that. I haven't. So, yeah. As ever, my curiosity uh, gets the better of me, and I've just got to see what's inside, and it's the way I am. So hopefully um, I've edited this video in, um, in a way that's made it hopefully entertaining for you and kept your interest. And at the end, hopefully you think uh, I've had a good score. I think I've had a good score. And um, yeah, looking back at it, perhaps it was meant to be that it was windy and cold and everything and I was meant to take the car and not go cycling. So, anyway, the next part is I gotta scrap them all and make videos of them all. So, uh, you know what I'm gonna be taking apart, but in what order? I have to wait and see. But I am, um, I'm itching now. I want to take things apart. So, never mind. Right. Okay. That was uh, Mad Matt ferritin, ferritin, the Mad Welshman ferritin. Taffy was ferreting. I'm trying to look for it. Oh, that's the other thing we did on um, the live stream. I want to rename my channel. And because uh, it's Mad Matt's bucket list at the moment. Well, with coronavirus, COVID-19, it's not going to happen. Um, so, yeah, we, we had a bit of a laugh trying to... <laughs> yes. They, they got a bit carried, oh, sorry, they got a bit carried away um, on the live stream. Nothing too insulting, but, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm looking to rename my channel. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed uh, coming around with me and seeing the final product of everything that I picked up. And, um, yeah, I hope you had a chuckle when... <laughs> I basically fell in a skip, and then all of a sudden, the lights came on on the house. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, I'll see you all on the next one. Please take care. Stay safe and well, as I always say, and it is important uh, in these tumultuous times. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, coming along with me, seeing what's out there. And I hope you enjoyed seeing what I brought back with me. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's enough for now. And I will see you. I'll see you soon. Bye.